All right. So today, um, or really yesterday, we talked about um, how to find the slope given two points, a table, and a graph. Remember that a slope tells you how steep a line is. Um, the slope can be positive, negative, zero, or undefined. And it is determined by the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We also call this change in y over change in x. You're going to see this a couple of different ways. Um, so it may even be that the change is represented by a delta. Note that delta means change. Or we say y over x. So over here in these examples, all right, it says observe the graphs below and determine whether it has a positive, negative, zero, or undefined slope. Number one is a horizontal line. Seeing as how this graph doesn't have any type of steepness to it, then we can say it has no slope. Therefore, we write here that M, which means slope, is equal zero. All right, when we get to number two, if we look from left to right at this line, we see that it's declining. Therefore, we can say that the slope of this line is negative. When we look at number three, from left to right, we see that this slope is inclining or increasing. Therefore, we say the slope here is positive. And lastly, we have a vertical line. And whenever we see a vertical line, we need to note that the slope here is undefined. All right, now that we're clear on what slope is and we have gone over the formula for finding the slope, now let's talk about how do we find the slope if we're given two points. All right, the steps are listed right here. Note that the first step is to label our points. So if we're looking at um, this first example in number five, we're given the points 3, 2, and 5, 10. For the first set of points, we're going to identify our x and y as x1, y1. And then for the second set of points, we're going to identify our points as x2, y2. And from this stage, we need to, second step, find the change in our y values by taking y2 minus y1. So I'm going to say here that our change in y is equal to 10 minus 2, since that's y2 minus y1, which is 8. And then I'm going to find, for the third step, the change in the x values. So that's x2 minus x1, or 5 minus 3, which is 2. And my third and final step, I'm just going to write here on the line, I'm going to divide the change in y by the change in x. So this becomes 8 divided by 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the slope in number 5 is 4. All right, let's try another example, like number 6. All right. We're given these two points, 4, 4, and 6, 2. And we're looking to find the slope. So the first step is to label our points. So 4, 4 is our first ordered pair. So we label the x and y, x1, y1. And then the second ordered pair for x and y, we label x2, y2. All right, now we find the change in y by taking y2, which is 2, minus y1, which is 4. So that gives us negative 2. Then we find the change in x, which is x2 minus x1, or 6 minus 4, which gives us 2. We take our slope, or we find our slope, rather, by dividing our change in y, which is negative 2, 
by 2 and get a negative 1. All right, I'm going to leave the last two examples for you. Now, let's get to the table. We find the slope of a table just as we did with um, the two points, except we have to choose two points from the table. Because if we look at the table, we're given more than one point here. So I'm going to choose in this first example, negative 2, negative 5 as one of my points. And my other point, I'm going to choose positive 2, negative 13. And then I'm going to go and label my points. So for this first point, negative 2 is my x1, while negative 5 is my y1. 2 is going to be my x2, while negative 13 is my y2. All right, now I need to find my change in y. So I'm going to take my negative 13 and subtract negative 5 for my change in y. Again, that's negative 13 minus negative 5. That double negative needs to become plus positive. So this becomes negative 8. The change in x is 2 minus negative 2. That's going to become plus positive. So this is positive 4. Giving us a slope of the change in y, which is negative 8, divided by the change in x, which is positive 4, that leaves us with a slope of negative 2. Of negative 2. All right, now we're going to look at number 11. Remember, we're going to choose two points. So let's choose 7, 0 and 7, 2. We're going to label. That's the next step. So we label the first point x1, y1, x2, y2. Find our change in y. So that's 2 minus 0 or just 2. And then we find our change in x, which is 7 minus 7, which is 0. So to find our slope, and I'm going to write over here in this space, we take our change in y, which is 2, and divide by a change in x, which is 0. Two, uh, 0 can never be in the denominator, so that means that the slope here is undefined. And that's the answer for that. It's undefined because there can never be a zero in the denominator. Also, if we were to take these points and graph it, um, we would see that this is a vertical line, kind of like number four up here. All right, lastly, we're going to talk about what it means to find the slope given a graph. All right. When we're given a graph, the first step is that we want to pick two points on the graph. For instance, we may choose this point here, which is um, negative 1, 4. And then we choose this point here, which is 0, 1. After we choose our two points, we need to find our change in y, meaning to go from one point to the next, what is the change in the y, up and down? How many points down do we go? And it looks like we go down one, two, and three. Since we're going in the negative direction, we're going to say our change in y is negative three. And then the third step is to find the change in x. Since we go right one in the positive direction, this is going to be positive 1. So our slope m is negative 3 over 1, which is just negative 3. Now let's look at number 14, our last one. Remember, we are to choose two points on the graph. 
let's say it's this point here, which is 1, negative 2. And let's say we choose this point here, which is 3, 2. All right. Now that we've chosen our two points, we're going to find our change in y. So it looks like we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. And since we're going in the positive direction, our change in y is positive 4. And then we go right 2. And since our change in x is 2 in the positive direction, that's positive 2. So our slope is our change in y, which is 4 divided by a change in x, which is 2, leaving us with a slope of 2.